Well, hello, hello, peeps. Here we have another SOD PvP tier list, this time for Phase 3. And just like last time, we are mainly looking at this through the lens of kind of group-based uh, STV gameplay or uh, Warzone Gulch uh, AB, right? Uh, Battleground gameplay. Uh, we will account for solo plays and, you know, kind of skirmishing power, small groups power. Um, now, I want to start off by saying that my prediction that casters will be even more broken or just as broken in phase 2 was absolutely right. Actually, to some degree, I, it's even worse than I anticipated. Um, you could even say that I was wrong because I just... Uh, the discrepancy between caster and melee right now is, yeah, bigger than it I, I have seen it in a long time. Like, I, I don't remember the last time I played uh, a patch where, yeah, caster and melee kind of lost, first of all, lost all kind of meaning of what's a caster and what's a melee, and yeah, we'll kind of get more into that as we kind of discuss the classes, but right now it's just, yeah, no interactions for melee versus caster. So first off, I really want us to kind of get rid of the god classes, so we know which classes are just absolutely the most broken and have nothing to, you know, are kind of just a huge cut above the rest. First, of course, is Mage. I mean, last time around they were absolutely broken, even though some people would kind of cry about, oh no, I get one-shotted as a Mage, okay bro, you are not good, I know. But uh, yeah, right now even you're not gonna get one-shotted as a Mage, your defensiveness has gone up. And you are absolutely disgusting. The biggest AoE damage monster is as fire and frost, kind of the frost fire um, bolt, the spammy thing is just, yeah, insane. Can just one shot multiple people, so you kill one person, okay, I kill this other person, you, okay. As long as the mage is casting, the mage is killing, um, especially if you're talking, how you say, um, about frost, uh, the fire, no need to even cast, right? It just pops living flame, living bomb on everybody and just does the most damage in the freaking BG while, you know, just chuk, 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 casting from 40 yard range is the cast abilities. Uh, it, it's absolutely insane just what 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 has it become. Uh, on top of the fact that they also got in a stun, me just getting a stun in the current kind of design is just, yeah, I don't know, mind-breaking to me? It just feels like, yeah, really PvP, this really shows to me that PvP is not something they're thinking about. Um, it really shows to me that PvE is like the only thing that they're concerned about and when they're like actually designing these things and PvP is just kind of uh, whatever. I mean, it's, it is kind of how World of Warcraft generally treats PvP, but it's in SOD very obvious now that the PvP is just on the back burner and as we'll discuss some other classes, you'll see that like PvP, the changes that happen in the game are never PvP focused, they're all PvE and even if something good happens for PvP, like the Enhancement Shaman changes where now they have to use a shield, to have Way of the Earth, that again was not uh, for PvP, that was for PvE because Enhancement Shamans were tanking without a shield. So, yeah, they don't care for PvP. The other god class, of course, is Shadow Priest. Um, which one is stronger, which one is better, it really doesn't, like, uh, maybe if you're, this is like a 1v1 tier list, uh, Shadow Priest is just the best. Uh, I would think uh, Shadow Priest beats Mage uh, with, with the Purges dispelling itself. Um, silence and kind of just insta-cast the bullshit, like this class does not need to cast. This class to kill you, it doesn't matter, like, what class I guess you're playing, like, it doesn't matter. It does not need to cast a single spell. And when I say cast, I mean, you know, channeling an ability or something, right? I'm not talking about the insta-cast bullshit, because insta-cast is something that melees do, right? And melees are not the best insta-casters right now, for sure, right? They're not, like, yeah, by far. By far, I think uh, the strongest insta-caster is uh, Shadow Priest, and I'm, I'm not sure. I, I would pu I'm would i putting these as, like, one spot. Let's put them, like, I don't know, like this, in between them. And just Yeah, this is, like, one spot, bro. The, both of these are just god classes. If you're playing mage, you're having a lot of fun. If you're playing Shadow Priest, bro, you're you're brain dead. You're literally play playing brain dead, and you're just killing every single other, other uh, class in the game, uh, just without even thinking. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, the utility also they offer for their team is also insane as you know, CC that Mage now has uh, Shadow Priest with the Purges and with uh, Dispelling. It's just insane, man. I don't know. This, <laughs> these two classes are just gods. Gods. Absolute gods. Uh, next class I'm gonna talk about is something that is always uh, makes people very angry where I rated it. I really loved people telling me this is not S tier last time around. This time around, I also want to people tell me that this is not S tier. <laughs> Critting for 2.6k Starfires, no problem. Um, also, kind of insta cast bullshit, but not as much as the others. Like, it, it definitely has its uh, 
like moments, but it's it's nowhere like near. Yeah, just not near mage and and shadow priest. Tanky as, as freaking hell right now. Like even in, in boomy form, even if they're not like swapping around into bear. Um, generally, bear feels like unkillable. Uh, we'll talk about it later, but yeah. Yeah, uh, absolute S tier as far as I'm considered. The uh, stun, stunning from freaking range, bro. From you know, random cast ability to me, it's still like kind of my numb, my numbing that uh, yeah, how some some of these things are allowed. But yeah, very, very, very insane spec. Now let's talk about spec that is probably the only melee that is kind of I guess interactive in a in a true sense, especially in like a BG or a group scenario. I feel like it actually has. An interaction versus casters, um, which is enhancement shaman. <clears throat> I'm not placing them in B, but we're just gonna talk about it here. But yeah, enhance feels great, even with the way of the earth not being. Uh, you can't use that anymore on the like main spec. So to say main spec or as like a dual wield enhance, which is was absolutely broken. Um, it now deals even more damage because people are actually running wind fury because people are actually like casting off abilities does even more damage because now you actually have mental dexterity which makes your already base damage in the insane base damage of a shaman insane like right all of your abilities all of a sudden do a lot more damage your magical abilities so definitely an insane spec its heals also got buffed because of its heals also as well right are stronger uh, because of the inst you actually have insta cast heals so you're not um, you know, for, forced to actually cast out an ability. It, yeah, uh, it just feels like it's insane. It has a defensive cooldown. Um, I still haven't leveled mine, so I'm not like 100% sure personally where I would like. Maybe even in, into S tier, uh, especially since it's again the only uh, melee that has an interaction with ground um, totem, grounding totem, and with the uh, um, say uh, earth cross earth shock, right? So. It's uh, the only melee that has an actual interaction, and um, I don't know, it's, it is hard, man, uh, just because I feel like it still can get targeted by two casters and get one shot, right? So I feel like it's gonna be into A, and probably the, the highest a melee can be is gonna be an Enhancement Shaman. Um, rogues are also gonna, I'm gonna put in a good spot, but uh, yeah, um, this is the highest a melee can be in this patch. Uh, I think A is... Yeah, just because like two casters casting at you and you have don't have two healers healing your ass, yeah, you're still dead. Right? That's just how it feels uh, to play melee right now, even with like full um, PvP gear. So it, it is what it is, man. The highest the melee can be. And Shaman, again, just because it has a kick, basically a ranged kick, and it has grounding totem. So it actually has an interaction. And it got, of course, has freedom, which uh, it's not really like dispellable. So. Yeah, absolutely nuts. Now let's get into some bottom tier specs. Let's talk about my uh, my class that I was happy to play this time around or wanted to play is Gladiator Stance Warrior Deep Prot. Uh, not possible, my friends. Not possible to have fun. You're doing uh, such subpar damage that uh, like a ticks ticks from a freaking Shadow Priest. Uh, you know, dots from a Shadow Priest are just stronger than you. You are auto attacking, doing everything. Um, I've tried Gladiator Stance with Fury and with even with Arms, it does not really work. Um, you just can't ramp, you don't have the time to ramp up because Warrior survivability is zero, zero right now. And I, that's not about just, I don't think it's just Warrior survivability. I think it's also just casters, how much damage they do compared to uh, a Warrior, right? Um, so it's uh, you never get to really ramp up. Uh, you have two healers on you. It doesn't matter bro, if three casters are casting on you, right? You're, you're dead, you're dead. Right, like, yeah, you're just gonna get 2.6k Starfire followed by a 1.9k Pyro Blast, you are dead. So there is nothing to do um, as far as the warrior even getting like a double heals. Um, arms, I would, I would want to rate higher just because I feel like arms is actually decent. Like when it deals damage, it can do damage. Um, yeah, but I, I, the, the, so again, the, the part of the survivability where you just get uh, two casters casting on you. And you get one shotted is like what makes me also almost want to put it into D. Again, only reason I'm putting it into C, good damage, and it has mortal strike effect, which is actually pretty good since healers are healing quite a lot. But yeah, warrior warrior life is not good right now. Um, I really want to have fun on the warrior, but it's just uh, even I expected him to not be good again. But it's even with a healer pocket healing you is is not possible to even survive. Yeah, there's no interaction. Spell Reflect it does not exist in the game. 
you don't have a way to really like stop casters from casting on you from range or doing something from range or even when you're on them uh, a lot of times you can't even like right keep up because you're gonna get slowed if you don't have freedom you know it's just so many like problems uh, to kind of play around right now and without actually having like even when you ramp up your damage is just not something as as, as the casters are so definitely C tier as far as I'm considered um, at the maximum I would even put it into D but just because it still can do some damage uh, I'll, in, I'll put it into C Fury we are not even gonna rate I, I don't think dual wield is good and playing a uh, the Fury kind of uh, build for gladiator stance just does not uh, work in my opinion is not as good uh, you lose too much um, sure you maybe do a little bit more damage than if you're deep prod but you lose all the stunning abilities and um, proccing the shield slam with um, sword and board can actually be quite a good damage if you get lucky, especially if you get some crits as well. So uh, that is it for the warriors. Okay, let's get rid of the druids. Let's finish off the rest of the druid cast. Um, Resto, Estir, healer for sure. AoE healing amazing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's not much to say about there. Also has kind of a defensive option, so... Uh, in, by going into bear and really bears right now even like boomy going into any bear like doesn't matter if you're feral or whatever right it just feels like extreme tankiness achieved immediately right you can't kill the bear if especially if there's a healer on the bear um talking about bears the absolute i think number one um flag carriers right now shaman just does not i don't see shaman that much anymore i'm not sure why i i, I wouldn't think they have, they would have fallen off so hard because like um Flag here, Shaman would have carried the shield anyways, so they can still use Way of the Earth, no problems. It's just, I'm a little bit, uh, how do you say, confused. I just don't see them as much. And I, what I see mainly is Druid tank, or how do you say, Bear tank, and it's absolutely insane, bro. Like, three, three classes killing this class. There's no healer, and it's not dying, man. It's not dying. Like, three or four, you can have specs on this class, and it's not dying. Uh, so... Definitely the only class that I felt like it was okay. This is tanky. This feels tanky. Everything else kind of feels like okay, it can die. Especially if I'm like playing my paladin, which is you know better gear than you know I'm doing some uh, nasty damage on the paladin when I jump in. But it's just like this class does not feel like I'm touching even on my paladin. So I'm definitely gonna hi rate it highly. Feral on the other hand, ah, it's kind of sussy, man. <laughs> I can they can do some good burst. They also can kind of play uh, utility they have a, like a very flexible play style very flexible what they can do in a game for you uh but i just feel like uh i guess it'll be a bit here for us uh, definitely better than warrior as far as usefulness to your team and um, survivability overall because like yeah I, all melees are getting one-shotted right now like you, you are either a one-shotted melee or you are not a one-shotted melee because you actually have something to interact with casters right so it, it is kind of that situation that I feel like uh, on the melee side. I'm just going to put it again because they have uh, wild strikes, which for alliances can be very big uh, and important for your teams. And it has, kind of has the utility. Uh, but um, it's more, I guess, more about the fact that how much it helps a team than about its uh, solo solo capability or how do you say damaging capabilities. Um, let's uh, talk about next uh, my other favorite, Vo Paladin. Now, Paladin, man, I, I was really hopeful that they were trolling with the runes. They were not trolling with the runes. That, that's what the runes were, okay. Uh, I thought, I was hoping they, that we were gonna get some stuff data mined, that was not data mined or whatever. Of course, that was a lie. Again, everything that was data mined was coming to the game, so I'm very disappointed. And the thing that angers me the most is the fact that uh, Exorcism is still on the lag slot. And they've showed us now, recently with the changes, that some of the changes that they've done, like, very recently to SOD that are coming, uh, they showed us that they will move runes if it needs to be moved. So, please, Blizzard, remove the freaking exorcism from the leg rune, or just, like... Main thing is to just make it... Uh, main thing would be to make it, sorry. Uh, main thing would be to make it uh, a quality of life book, so you can actually use the exorcism and then have a runes to uh, adjust it so we can actually have a leg slot where we can choose avenger shield inspiration exemplar uh what was the other thing divine sacrifice as well is on leg so we can actually have a choice between uh, these runes but right now you want to do damage you choose exo right you choose exo and that is it right 
Hopefully they will help it. Um, on the other hand, you're still just a bubble class. Um, CD, I'm not sure. I'm going to put it into C over arms. Just because when you bubble, you can go in and you can do damage. Otherwise, yeah. One-shotted by every single class that is up here. <laughs> you're just going to get one-shotted by a Shadow Priest be be before you even reach the Shadow Priest. Like, you can be mounted walking towards the Shadow Priest. He procs a stun on you. And then he one-shots you. Like, you, you literally can't even like mount rush the class um yeah it, absolutely like without bubble you, you are not yeah just basically that you, you just still do, do a lot of damage though like yeah you can do a lot of damage if you bubble up and you go in between people but yeah it just feels like very bad it feels very bad man and while i was also talking about like them swapping out rune spots uh, let's talk a little bit about glad sands just yeah glad sands is pretty much the reason why it's bad is because it's on the foot slot where the warriors uh, rallying cry and rage region are right um yeah and intervene as well so basically that's the whole reason why glad stance is uh one of the reasons why glad stance is not good and it's never gonna really be good even like if um melee has become a little bit tankier just because yeah you're using your you're using get it you're using your utility slot or your pvp slot you could even say moving into rogues very good spec this time around as well i'm gonna rate only assassination because that's what i see in pvp i haven't really seen like sub or like yeah most of them do in venom from what i've seen um so i'm just gonna rate assassination and it's one of the melees that is good i would put it below enhance uh, for group based uh, stuff but i feel like how things are right now where um, melees get, just get one-shotted the rogue's tankiness is the same as like a warrior's tankiness it is you're you just these two classes are just as tanky because of these classes up here right so yeah it's um it has the cc it has the damage right now and it, you know it's kind of just as squishy as the other ones but it has damage cc and a lot more a lot better solo play potential than of course warrior retribution or you know even feral so definitely want to put it into a and i feel like b would be you know, not enough like they can just warrior can how you say a rogue can just jump out and uh, one shot the class most classes so yeah rogues are i think really good right now um especially if like things change around this can they can go up a lot more but the way things are right now they are just you know not as squishy as the other ones but because of the cc that they have and some tricks that they have i, I put them a little bit higher right let's move into the shamans rest of the shaman cast uh and let's use this as a tank shaman i'm gonna still put it into s tier just even though i have not seen a lot of uh, tank shamans running the flag this is of course the tanks uh, specifically kind of talking about the flag carrying uh, capabilities i still think it's s tier uh, because way of the earth hasn't gotten nerfed in pvp still crit reduction damage reduction and a bunch of hp um while also disjointing your earth shock from your other shocks so <clears throat> yeah that talent is absolutely insane i just feel like it, even though i haven't seen much enhanced uh, tank shamans right running around the flag i mainly see druids these days i still feel like it's absolutely godly um elemental also s tier mm, uh, under boomy man under boomy the thing with the elemental is you can still kind of jump on it and kind of kill it i feel like um insta cast bullshit all the way as kind of the other casters as well uh, one shotting you from uh, from afar with the elemental mastery I'm just insane the spec is insane um one reason why i'm putting it all over the boomy just because like if you jump on a boomy boomy can go bare no such luck for the elemental if the elemental gets like opened up by a rogue and then like a retribution is attacking it or some caster is casting on it as well it, i just feel like elemental is dead instantly while like a boomy can like pre-bear or uh shadow priest can use uh, disperse so both of those can kind of trick that so that's why i would maybe even consider putting it into a tier but yeah i just yeah there's no way elemental is 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 in a tier uh with L enhancement and assassination it's definitely better than them going into hunters now hunters actually feel good i'm not sure if i would put i would put all of them into like a and s tier ish like marksman again i just lacks a little bit something they, they just lack like an ability or two in that group based like when they ju get jumped by three people if they're getting jumped by one person they can deal with it so i'm still gonna put marksman high up here let's say like something like this 
Um, melee Hunter, I just can't put high, as high as the rest. They're not good. Actually, forgot to rate the rest, though. We'll do that up at the Hunters. Um, but yeah, I just can't put um, <coughs> uh, melee spec as high as the range specs. Um, Beast Mastery as well. I'm a little bit sassy on. I've seen only, like, I think two Beast Mastery Hunters or fought against, like, one. And yeah, if they have their bestial rad they do a lot of burst so i'm still gonna put them into a because they have the safety of range so they can constantly do their damage and there's no problems for them they're not melee but yeah i think i think that's a good disposition here um arresto shamey is actually s tier um s tier healer um actually no 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 Resto Shami is a tier healer. Um, this is why um, Shamans can get jumped on, and that is the the, the difference between them and the other ST healer, which is um, Priest here. I think these two are the S tiers just because they can survive, and um, yeah, it just doesn't have this kind of survivability. Resto as the other two doesn't have like a direct ability that they can just use to uh, survive, like bear or disperse is for these two. Um, yeah, I think that's that's a pretty good position like this healers on the end now as we're getting kind of towards the end of it let's kind of go for uh, the stragglers arcane mage uh for just speaking strictly strangle torn veil uh death squads i feel like it's still extremely good in that kind of scenario those like uh, five mages healing the, each other i guess it's more about the runes than the spec but um you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about mages going for the healing runes and whatnot, and then going for a five dead the mage dead squad. I still feel like that's S tier. Um, Holy Pala, even with the changes coming right now, where it has like a better rune um, choices, I just never feel this class is healing. I feel bad putting it into D tier, but I just don't feel this class. Like I've had BGs with two Holy Palas in it, and I don't feel a heal ever coming my way. They just don't have a way to spread them and they don't have enough uh, instant healing to kind of be good right now compared to Resto and the Discipline. Um, we're not going to rate the rest of the rogues. Protection, I guess we can look at this as like one-handed poly red or a running shield and stuff. I feel like it's, yeah, in C tier is, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's better, it's better than arms probably for, for sure, but yeah, it does not feel like um, sword and board uh, paladin is that much better or how do you say than two-handed paladin and right now definitely better than warrior <laughs> for sure uh what else uh, are we missing holy priest i'm not gonna raid just because i feel like it's a class that uh, no, healers didn't really play like if you're playing disco if you're playing healer priest in pvp you're playing disco uh, similar right to rogues right now if you're playing rogues you're probably playing like assassination with and venom that's what i mean um Warlocks, uh, let's rate them next. Um, yeah, everything else we have finished. So we're last on the Warlocks. Um, Metamorphosis definitely feels a lot better right now. Um, I don't feel like it has the damage, but it feel, has like tankiness. It feels like a bruiser. So I'm going to put Meta uh, somewhere in the middle of A. Lixion, um, I'm expecting to be S tier with like the changes and the buffs. It already feels really good. Uh, on the damage side, especially in the 1v1s, I just feel like with the additional changes, it's gonna be probably insane. Uh, probably insane in, um, how do you say, group-based scenarios, um, especially yeah, with, with the buffs. And similar to Destro, I just feel like Destro is kind of mad, still gets destroyed, but pretty much is as tanky as like these other specs here, so... I guess maybe high B or like low A. Yeah, I'm gonna put it low A. Um, yeah, something like low A feels maybe better just because it's just as squishy as a warrior, right? But it's ranged and, it, you know, it can do damage from range and has CC from range and, you know, so it's uh, definitely in a better spot than like the other ones. Now I have rearranged some stuff, but I think that's about it as I would put things around. These are the god classes. These are your S tiers right here. Um, this is, of course, only for STV specifically. Um, a tier right here. I'll put down the melees just because they're melee. They can't do their damage from, you know, range. Um, a little bit sussy on, like, marksman. Which which, uh, which one would be in front here, I guess. Um, I'm just going to put it like this. But I'm not, like, 100% sure which, which one I would put better. 
definitely think a Feral is more useful than a survival hunter, or sorry, a melee hunter, but yeah, melee hunter still has some good good stuff, good damage, and is a hunter spec, so it has like CC and stuff, so it can actually interact versus like the spellcasters, and of course the guys that can't <laughs> do anything to the spellcasters are right here, C and D. Unfortunately for somebody like me that uh, loves to play plate, uh, loves to play melee classes, yeah, you're not gonna have much fun. Uh, especially since this, I almost, yeah, I don't know, I almost want to put down, the, like, uh, enhancing the, enhancing rogue into B tier and just put everybody in, into D tier from here, but that's how it, how I personally feel right now, but yeah. Um, if you want to have fun, man, just pick up an SP or, or a mage right now. Um, and that's about it, peeps. Like, comment, subscribe, all those things YouTubers want you to do, and have a nice day.